Hi, this is Anu from Desi Plaza and it's always a pleasure to have Mr. Vivek Waswani with me. And this is the second successful year of South Asian Film Festival. We are having you here. Thank you so much for joining. Very good morning. Good morning and thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to come every year. Um, I just want to start with, you know, like it's always pleasure to have you as well. So, but I want to know how you, I mean, what is your experience visiting to this country? Well, uh, not so much this country, but especially Texas. You see, my brother lives in Texas, in Austin, down the road, and he's been here for 30 years. And now uh, the children, his children have grown up, they go to the University of Texas. So when I got this opportunity to be with the Dallas-Fort Worth South Asian Film Festival, I thought what a wonderful opportunity to come not just to America, but to Texas, and to have some old world Texan hospitality, and do what I do best, which is films, and to meet my brother and Jitain, who's a very old friend, and life is wonderful. Well, definitely, you know, we have to uh, thank Jitin and Jinga Media for creating such a beautiful, beautiful opportunity for all of us here to experience, you know, this um, South Asian you know, yes. atmosphere. I think it's a wonderful thing and I have been to Indian festivals all around America last year with Rough Book, my film. Rough Book opened at the Dallas Film Festival. We were the closing night film at the inaugural chapter. After that, it won Best Film at the Houston Indian Film Festival. It won Best Story at the Washington Film Festival. Uh, the director got an honorary mention at the San Francisco Film Festival. Uh, we were nominated for Best Actress at the New York Indian Film Festival. But from all these festivals, the hospitality I get in Dallas is unparalleled. Yes, that's because you are actually not a stranger to Texas. <laughs> you are, it is your home too, right? Yes, I'm, I'm half a Texan actually. If you, want to, if you want to put it that way, yes, I'm half a Texan. Absolutely. Yeah. But so, I love Texas because it's really the most hospitable state that you have, you know. People in Texas just love other people. Well, you go Texas, it's absolutely the credit, especially coming from Mr. Vivek is definitely something that we need to be grateful. Um, we talked about a rough book and we watched it last year. So where is it going and what is the progress that uh, made so far? You know, when I made rough book, I had no clue where it would go. Uh, Jitain saw it at the NFTC Film Bazaar in Goa and he invited it to be the closing night film. The Houston Film Festival people saw it in Goa as well and they invited it to the Houston Film Festival. So last year I was in Dallas, then I went to Austin to meet my brother and from Austin to Houston where Rough Book won Best Film. I didn't want to put it into cinemas. I did not want Rough Book to suffer because today unfortunately in India they don't go to the cinema to watch good movies. They go to the cinema to watch big movies because it's a big ticket price. In India, 400 rupees, 300 rupees are not easily payable because we are not a very rich country and the middle class of the country that watches movies can't afford these rates and that is the truth. We may think they can afford it, we can con ourselves into thinking that the Indian audience is happy paying 400 rupees, they are not. So they will only watch a certain amount of films at 400 rupees. A small film, they will say, yeah, we will watch this on DVD, we will watch this when it comes on TV. And now, the new thing, we will watch this on the internet, but we will not watch it in the cinema. So that is half the problem that I faced with Rough Book. The other half is that out of every 100 rupees that comes at the box office, the government takes away 30. From the 70 that's left, the multiplex takes away 40. So now I'm left with 30. From that, the distributor takes away 6. So I'm left with 24 rupees. From that, I have to pay for marketing, publicity, the newspaper ads, the television publicity, uh, the digital charges of playing the film, uh, the materials that I need in the cinema, the hoardings, the billboards, the standees, from 24% of the box office. I can't do it. I'm sure other filmmakers can do, and God bless them, I can't do it. So I think, you know, the message that uh, from your answer that we should take is we need more support. All independent cinema, all good cinema, even if it's small, needs more support. Unfortunately, that support is coming on the internet. So films are making a revenue on the internet now, on television, on video on demand, on cable TV, on pay-per-view, but not in the cinemas. And it won't happen until we don't dedicate one screen per multiplex or one multiplex per locality to a certain 
kind of cinema. For example, right here where the Dallas Fort Worth South Asian Film Festival is playing at the Angelica, they've dedicated screens to a certain kind of cinema. They support that cinema and that support allows the audience to grow. We don't support that kind of cinema. So that's a pity. So what I did with Rough Book, I was clever. I showed it to college principals and school teachers and trustees who had uh, 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 colleges under them, educators and educationalists. And I said, if you love this film, we will show it in your school to your students and we'll charge them a fee, which is less than half of what the multiplex is charging. I've already shown the film to 105 college principals and 105 schools and colleges have played the movie. I have a waiting list of 3,500 colleges to play the film. So I'm very happy finding my audience instead of waiting for the audience to find the film. That's a wonderful uh, idea of just, you know, uh, spreading the news and also conveying the message. Uh, and especially what we think is, you know, like the younger generation, the future of our country, definitely need to get the message out of the movie. And also the movie should be enjoyable even if you sit with the family and uh, watch it. And that is something that South Asian Film Festival is trying to provide. Yes, they are. In fact, uh, Jitain's festival, uh, the Dallas Fort Worth Film Festival, there's men programming, there's ladies programming, there's children's programming, there's LGBT programming, there's cultural programming, there's education programming. There is a different programming through the three days. So there is something for everyone. So what is your future plan like, you know, and your involvement in South Asian Film Festival? Well, I'm on the board of governors now, board of directors. And uh, I plan to make sure with Jitain and shoulder to shoulder with the entire team, I plan to make sure that this becomes the best South Asian film festival, not just in America, but in the world. That's a wonderful thing. And uh, we are definitely support that. And thank you so much for joining this morning and had a wonderful time having you here and definitely looking forward to the next year as well as more future films. Thank you very much. And thank you, Texas, for having me. Thank you.